As a PC gamer, it's traditionally been hard to travel with games. It's gotten better over the years. But now, PC gaming handhelds are making it even easier. MSI's Claw is a great handheld that can be made even greater with more storage. Welcome everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and in this episode, I'll be going over how to juice up your MSI Claw's storage potential by replacing its default SSD. The Claw handheld we'll be upgrading is the Claw 8 AI Plus, and it uses the M.2 2230 form factor SSD. You'll need a PCIe 4.0 NVMe drive or better to replace the default SSD. The Kingston NV3 is a solid option, and that's what we'll use today. Keep in mind that different Claw models may vary in SSD size and process. For example, older generation Claw models require some additional steps, like removing the fan assembly and reapplying thermal paste. Make sure to confirm your specific model before moving forward. We'll be doing a fresh install of Windows for this upgrade, so make sure any game save data is stored securely to the cloud or an external drive before starting. To start, plug in a flash drive and go to Microsoft's website to download the Windows 11 disk image. Next, download the wireless LAN driver from the MSI website to the same flash drive. Finally, download Rufus, which will turn your flash drive into a bootable disk. Links for these can be found in the description below. Launch Rufus and select the ISO file for Windows 11 to use. This process will take some time and can be done on the Claw handheld itself or on a separate Windows PC. Once that's completed, remove your flash drive and any other attachments or storage such as SD cards. Before you turn off your Claw, you may want to discharge the battery down to below 25%. Whether you do or don't, make sure you have a Phillips head screwdriver ready for the next part, and ideally some small, easily labeled Ziploc bags. Use the screwdriver to open the rear panel. There are six screws you'll need to remove. One may be underneath the warranty sticker, depending on your model. Keep these screws together, preferably in our handy-dandy labeled Ziploc. To remove the back cover, begin on the right side of the claw with an opening tool. Gently wedge the tool into the seam and carefully work your way downwards and around the entire perimeter until the cover detaches. Next, disconnect and pull out the battery. The cord is on its top side in the center. You'll want to unscrew four screws holding the battery in place, which should be kept separate from the rear panel screws since they're different thread lengths. For our Claw 8 AI Plus model, you'll find the current M.2 SSD in the central area, secured by one screw. Remove the screw, then gently lift and slide the old SSD out. If a thermal pad is present, transfer it to your new SSD. Insert your new SSD into the slot, push it flat, and secure it with the screw. Finally, reinsert the battery, reconnect its cable, and reattach the back panel. Next, we're going to need a few extra USB ports for a keyboard and mouse required for this process, so we'll connect a hub. Then, we'll insert that flash drive we made earlier and turn the device on. If your claw has trouble detecting the boot drive, hold the left bumper and right bumper buttons when powering on to manually select the USB drive for boot. The Windows installation takes a while, so it's wise to plug in your charger the next time you boot your system as well. The flash drive will boot the setup process for Windows 11, but the touchscreen functionality of your system will be inactive, so make sure you have your keyboard and mouse plugged in to operate the system in the meantime. The instructions on the screen are simple, so just follow them. During Windows setup, you'll need to install the wireless LAN driver from the flash drive. Then, with the Claw Now internet enabled, the OS installation can be finished. It will give you the option to restore from your previous drive, which you can decide for yourself. You're not quite finished yet. You still need to install some essential drivers. The Intel Arc and Iris Xe graphics for Windows drivers will enable the Intel driver and support assistant, which you need to download all updates from. Then go to MSI to download all drivers supporting the claw model you have and all utilities too. Lastly, make sure everything is up to date in the Microsoft Store, especially the MSI Center M app, which is the exclusive control center software for your MSI claw. Once installed and updated, the clause should prompt you to restart. Next, it should prompt you to sign its privacy agreement and then set MSI Center M as the default startup screen. Go to the MSI update screen and scan for any live updates needed to ensure your system is fully up to date. Now you just need to install or reinstall your favorite games. 
Is the MSI Claw your favorite gaming handheld right now? What other PC gaming handhelds would you like to see us make content about? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all our tech tips. Thanks for watching everyone.